Well, thank you for taking this time, and thank you for what's really a great movie. I mean, when I sat down to watch it, I wasn't, I was expecting a great story, but it's actually a lot more than that. There's mm -hmm. a lot more going on in there. And you pulled off something that very few movies can do, which is to actually preach, to tell the truth about Christ mm -hmm. without coming across as preachy. Yeah. I wonder if you could comment on how you were able to do that. Uh, well, we just always wanted, the tone of the movie was always very important. And, and you know, I think people, when left to their own interpretation of reading the script, you know, I was just getting mixed reaction. People, some people weren't getting the humor, or some people thought it was too dark or depressing. And I thought, well, this is a movie that's going to really make people laugh. It will make people cry. It would ultimately leave them feeling emotionally uplifted and inspired. Um, so I didn't want to kind of... I don't just deal with anybody else's interference. I said, if I'm gonna make it, I gotta kind of make it on my own, and then I'll bring it back to everybody, and hopefully we'll deliver the movie that I had always envisioned. Um, but yeah, it was just, we're just trying to be brutally honest. The way Stu was when he talked to uh, to his parishioners. You know, he was a guy who had real life experience to draw on. Uh, people knew he had a lot of credibility, and uh, and so they related to him in a way, and we just wanted to make a story that that we knew would touch everybody in their own unique way. At this moment, COVID, all these things that are going on, it seems like a movie like this is precisely what was needed. Oh, yeah. Was that on your mind when you were making it or did it emerge? It really, if I would love to have said that I picked the timing and everything when, when, when uh, people are starving for positivity and love and, 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 and that sort of affirmation. But no, I just kind of wanted to get the movie made from the time I heard the story. It took this long and it just so happens that, you know, Obviously, the big guys at work constantly, and so bringing people together in a way uh, where it couldn't be uh, more needed is, uh, is, is, is is doing. Now, this is the kind of movie that actually goes after some pretty deep themes, mm -hmm. and running through it, obviously, is suffering and how you deal with suffering. And there are a lot of movies out there that say you just push through it. This movie actually makes a deeper point and would actually argue that we should be grateful for suffering. I wonder if you could comment on that. Well, Stu, Stu was a very unique guy. I think if, through all of the trials and tribulations in his life, he thought, if this is the worst that can happen to him, he's so blessed because, I mean, when he found his calling, he fell in love with the Lord uh, in a really remarkable way. And so, you know, here was a guy who was suffering and dealing with so many things, yet he felt so much joy and finally felt like he had found his purpose. And, uh, you know, he was just absolutely head over heels in love with the Lord and, and all that entailed and all those gifts that he was, he was yeah. given. Uh, he was very grateful for all those things. The movie presents a number of challenges, so it doesn't let the viewer off the hook. It no. asks really deep questions, and so there's a lot of dialogue and a lot of engagement there. Was that deliberate? Did you have to do a lot of thinking through how are we going to challenge people in a way that isn't off-putting but inviting? No, I think we just, I, again, we just approached it as playing it as real as possible. You know, it was one of those things where everybody's getting something different from it. You know, if you see it with a Catholic audience or you see it with a, a kind of jaded Hollywood audience who's used to, you know, really critical of films. And um, so it, it just really depends on the audience, I think. But, uh, but to see everybody, everybody being touched with, by it in a, in a very personal way is, is really uh, the nicest gift. It's about a priest. And to make it about a priest, I'm sure the story grabbed you, but there's also a timing thing to this. Priests have not had the greatest press for obvious reasons for a while now. Mm -hmm. And yet, I know a priest was important in your life, a priest was important in my life. Was this also in some way a testimony to, hey, there's a lot of good priests out there? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I always hope that it would encourage people to come to the church or come to their faith or come to the vocation of priesthood. We all have uh, a calling of some sort and something we're expected to do to give back and, and to contribute in this life. And, and uh, whether that's the priesthood or that's just kind of helping somebody who, who needs help and reminding somebody that they're loved and that you see the best in them and that you're not going to give up on them and, and you're rooting for them to, to, to seek their redemption. Those are all really important things. But, um, you know, I think it's, it's yeah, it was... Uh, and it was concerning um, for some people in the archdiocese when I started making the movie, like, what is this about? And I was like, I've, I've been touched and, and met some amazing people who have been the most positive influences in my faith and my life, and I uh, certainly want to celebrate that. And then Stu was remarkable. I mean, the amount of people that he touched in the short amount of time that he was a priest, um, you know, it's really, uh, really remarkable. What was his secret? Uh, he just told it the way it was. He really was just brutally honest the good, the bad, and everything in between. And, you know, but he, um, he always had a smile on his face and he always, uh, he had been through it. 
he had been through it, and that's that's a valuable thing, you know. If you look at all the apostles and and all the men that Jesus chose, he, he chose some pretty rough and tumble guys who had been through some real life experience. And that way, when you've been through those sort of things, um, you know, it's 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 a lot easier for people to relate to that. I think people can find their way in through a lot of different characters. You have mm -hmm. the different engagement with different characters. Were those deliberately chosen as sort of? The kinds of things honest people would ask, or are those really from his life, or that these are the kind of people he spoke with? Uh, those are the kind of people he spoke with. I think if you talk to Rosie later, you can ask her. There's probably a couple of little things she sprinkled in there just to kind of, again, have the conversation. But um, I just about to start laughing because I'm just thinking about Stu's first time when he's going to church in the film. Very, very funny. That was a funny scene. The, the humor is actually a nice piece of the movie, by the yeah. way, because it's carrying such these heavy themes and you break it up with the humor. Yeah, it's necessary, for sure. And, uh, tell me a bit about the relationship between Bill and Stu in the movie and what that's doing. Uh, you know, well, when they, after the loss of, uh, of their youngest child, you know, the parents really didn't have the coping skills and kind of went and left to their own devices and Stu was kind of left to his. And uh, it wasn't until later on that Bill was able to come back and be the father that he always wanted to be for Stu. When he was diagnosed with, with IBM, his father was his primary caregiver. He fed him, bathed him, uh, you know, clothed him. It was, uh, it was pretty remarkable. And then of course, Stu's dying wish was that his parents would both get baptized. And of course, he had that happen too. Even though he was on a, on a hospital gurney in the church, he had uh, the Archbishop uh, Thomas uh, perform the baptismal. And, yeah. I I have the privilege of, I worked for a number of years for the Bishops of the United States and Archbishop Thomas. What was it like working with the church in this movie? Uh, it was, you know, I think they were also a little, they were a little worried. There was some language in there. So, we, you know, I, I had to basically go and prove to them what I wanted to do and really kind of show them through the actual film what, what my intentions were. But every time I prayed about it, you know, I knew I was doing it for the right reasons and how important it was uh, to continue to get Stu's message out there. And so um, when I sent them the film and they watched it and they said after, you know, 10 or 15 minutes of crying, they realized that the language was important, that it was necessary. And this is a movie about tough, tough grace and tough mercy. And uh, people, people do speak like that. And you want, you want to bring people in. I think uh, any kind of faith-based movie is usually pretty safe and preaches to the choir and doesn't do much conversion. So this is, uh, this is a movie that we wanted to make in a kind of very gritty and real sort of way. And, uh, you know, it just so happens that it's ultimately very uplifting, um, even considering the subject matter and everything. It's, uh, it's as inspiring as you can get. And also, Stu, of course, you know, he's so amazing that he does, at the end of the film, get to challenge everybody who's walking out of the theater mm -hmm. to think about just doing a little bit more and being a little bit better. And, uh, you know, I've, everybody that I've talked to kind of feels that way. You know, it was an honest movie emotionally. It was honest intellectually as well. In other words, you didn't shy away from any of the hard questions. Why is there suffering? Yeah. A certain kind of cynical approach that you could take to faith, and do you really believe this? How did that play into it as you were scripting it and acting? Well, again, I think this is this is how people were really looking at it, you know. Um, and then you know, there's the whole thing with the church, and then there's the guy who died to build it, right? So you got everybody else in between. And Stu was, you know, very difficult when he was in the seminary. Challenged a lot of things. He thought there should be more progress within the church um, and growth, and hopefully that we'll continue to uh, to push that forward. This will go. This interview will go out to all two million members of okay. the Knights of Columbus, and I just thought I'd give you a chance to tell them why they ought to see this movie. Well, first of all, uh, you know I've known lots of members from the Knights of Columbus, being from Dorchester, um, seeing lots of Knights of Columbus posts and stuff. And uh, I think this is a movie for everybody. This is a movie and a reminder about the importance of faith, and it's truly inspiring. And you'll laugh and you'll cry, and I guarantee you, it will touch you in a personal way. And more importantly you'll recommend it to somebody else who needs it and, and it'll challenge you to do a little better. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, man.